Hello friends, welcome back to Banished. I'm Siege Plays. We are going to go ahead and dive in again. Uh, we are finishing kind of our current work on this side of the map. Once the cemetery is done, I think we will, and the, the houses over here, I think we will probably start to focus our attention a little bit further to the south down here. Because uh, I want to get a couple of, I would love to get a couple of foresters here. Um, I'm not sure how many, but we might get like one going over here and one going down here. I know that we're going to be building houses in this area as well, but we can always, you know, get rid of them as the city expands. But I would love to have a steady, steady source of wood and firewood to be able to trade, so. I want to see how many graves this will accommodate. 40. Okay, that's a good number. Graves will disappear, by the way. Uh, once they, when they die, you'll see tombstones pop up over here. Uh, and they will disappear over time. So it's not like once it's full you have to build another one. I mean, you do, but they won't stay full. And no, that's not a threat. It's not going to be not going to be the uh, actual army of the dead here. Although that would be an interesting addition to the game. All right, we have two more houses going. Um, I will put one of these guys back on blacksmithing because our number of tools is starting to drop. Most of our jobs are full. You know what, we're going to go ahead and remove the herbalist because that's plenty. And uh, where are we storing all of those? Over here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and... should have held off on building those homes there and built them further to the south here, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get one more forester going. Not the most efficient to build it here, but I wonder actually. We can build one way down here and we can build another one kind of right in the center there. You know, I'm actually not opposed to that. Even though we're going to be putting a bunch of houses and whatnot up in this area, it's not a terrible idea. They will just make take advantage of whatever space is available. Oh, there's a bump there. I didn't realize that. Yeah, screw it. That's fine. That is fine with me. Um, so we'll want to build a path from here. And then I will take advantage of this space over here for a couple of woodcutters. Here I go with laying out buildings already. Uh, <laughs> I told you guys, I can't can't seem to stop myself. We don't want to build it too far from the Forester, but we want it to be near to where our, uh, actually, go ahead and build it this direction here. We build two of them there. Let's go ahead and build one, two. And we won't need more than that. Um, having three of them, even for a small town, is a lot. Uh, but we want to have them properly planned out. And I can either put this, ooh, I could put it there instead of down there. I think that's a good idea. Um, so we'll just go ahead and put this right about there. Pause that as well. And we will go ahead and build a stockpile. And we're going to want a fairly large stockpile here. And I actually... Hmm, do I want to reserve space for another woodcutter? Let's go ahead and bring this path straight down. And then that should leave room for one more if we wanted it. I don't really don't think we're going to need it. Yeah, okay. Then we can make a fairly large stockpile over here. I guess it doesn't have to be like huge, huge, but... Hmm. I don't know. We can have homes all the way down here too. Let's put our stockpile on this side here. And we'll do an 8x8. That should be plenty large. Uh, we will get a path going this way. We will get a path going this way. Get a path going this way. And we will just take that straight over to our Forester's Lodge. Awesome. So, now we have a blueprint. Moving forward. This covers this whole area here. We'll eventually get another one going down here. 
once our town is big enough for that. For the time being, though, let's go ahead and put somebody building that. And then I'm going to hold off on building any roads in this area until we kind of have our layout situated. We'll eventually want to build a boarding home as well, but at the moment that is just not necessary. We could put it when we do build it. Could possibly put it right here, maybe? Nope. Taylor's in the way. We'll figure it out. Now, can I still squeeze in that other mine there? Yes, I can. Awesome. We definitely are not going to build that just yet, though. All right. Our workforce has expanded. Let's go ahead and put somebody trading down here. That way, when we do build homes, this is ready to go for them. Do we have any jobs we need to fill? Mm, fishermen. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Oh, oh, somebody else just grew up. Yeah, let's put two people. I want to keep at least two people in builders if possible. That's one you can really juggle. Um, but I want to keep two two people in that for now. If at all possible. We have that going. Somebody is working on this one as well. This one's going to be kind of costly. Well, it's not that bad. We definitely have the resources for it. Uh, now that we are running somewhat lower on iron, let's go ahead and mark what's in this area so that way when the forester is ready... It will be clear for them. If there's any more in this area. No. Okay. And I think once we get that going, then we will start building the mine and the quarry. Those cost quite a bit when it comes down to it. I may build one more stockpile. I don't really want to. But I don't like that the forester is going to be so far away. We'll see. They're not always super logical about where they store everything. Awesome. Yeah, that's going to be a minute. And we will start to fill in some homes in this area soon. Um, could put something right in here as well. It'll be nice because I can definitely fit in another blacksmith here. Could I put the town hall on the side? I could. That's also not a terrible idea because that frees this area up for more homes or farming. Yeah, I kind of like that idea actually. Put that there and then the hospital. We could not, could not put it there. We could put it over here maybe. We don't want to put it next to the woodcutters, but we should have, have room over here somewhere. Okay. We're going to get two foresters on that now. Let's go ahead and build one of these. Once we really have this going, we'll crank up our limit on firewood. We'll probably put it up to like a thousand, and then we'll slowly but surely creep some stuff into the trading post. And the sooner we can get some livestock and whatnot, the, be the, the better. Because as you notice, we are still running a deficit on clothing. So the sooner I can get some uh, sheep or cattle, the better. I don't want to remove anybody from their jobs at the moment. All 
trying to think of where I want to put the hospital. I mean, it's not really necessary that I put any more houses here. This should be plenty of houses for the industries that are here. So I might just put the hospital like over here across the street from the cemetery, which is a bit morbid, but also not a bad idea. I'm also learning to be less afraid of leaving some gaps because I don't think I could squeeze any homes in there. If I can, I will, but screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and lay down some of these buildings here. We'll pause them, but I just kind of have, I want to have them laid out, you know, ready to go. So town hall, let's find somewhere to put a boarding home. I cannot put it there. I don't want to put it here because I'm going to put another mine in there. I could put it right here. I kind of wanted to put more houses there though for when we have farms. Is that out of range? It is. But, I mean, I could just put it sideways here. Like right there, maybe. Would that reach? It would. Okay, let's do it. Cool. And while we're at it, we might as well just plop down another mine. So that way we know what space we're working with here. Boom. So now we have all of the necessary things except for a school, which we might be able to just squeeze behind the tailor over here. Oh, yes, we can. And we will. Okay, I'm done laying out any more buildings. Sweet. We'll probably try and put a well in over here at some point. But yeah, that gets that gets us uh gets us moving. Oh good, this woodcutter's done. We have a spare laborer, so we will put them in... Hmm. Let's go ahead and put them in Forester for now. And, uh... Hmm, what do I want to build next? Putting a few more homes in here is not a terrible idea. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that. Um, so we can go ahead and do another road here. And let's just go ahead and pave the whole exterior of this area. And then we will get some homes in here. Let's do two more for now. That way our woodcutter and forester can be closer to their homes. We have another laborer. We'll go ahead and put them in forestry as well. And we will shove this limit up to a thousand now that we have more stockpile storage. I might end up using this for storage as well because it's going to be necessary once we start cranking out the uh, firewood here. And I won't raise that limit just yet until we've got the trading post built. Yeah, I'd say this is a... I'm, I'm very satisfied with this start. This was a, a great area to start building in. Like, a great area of the map for them to place us in. Plenty of room for everything that we need. All of our resources are here. Our market's doing good. How are our barns doing? Good. Okay, awesome. I used to have problems with barn spaces, and then I started using these more often and the trader for storage, and they have plenty of room. Both of them do. Oh good, we are not running a clothing deficit at the moment.
think that means we can put a bridge over here. This will be a good little area to settle as well. Alright, get these houses done. I think once those are done, we'll go ahead and start the trade post. Yeah, let's go ahead and put another person in wood cutting now. And we will go ahead and up this limit to a thousand as well. Get that started. And you know what? We can always remove it later. Let's just go ahead and make this a stockpile as well. Oh, it's too large. Maybe we can just make it so that we can have houses here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And these houses will be covered too. Right, and this house is done. Almost. Boom. Get going. All right. And from here, this is where we'll start to try and uh, actually keep people in the labor field and whatnot, because people will start dying soon. We haven't had any deaths yet, but they will happen. And then we will kind of see what our first uh, first trade goods are. I'll definitely want to have a brewer in this area as well. Maybe I'll put like a barn and a brewer here. An orchard behind it or something. Alright, we have our first real surplus laborer at the moment. I don't know if I'd actually call them a surplus laborer, but you know what I mean. We're still doing good on stone and iron, which is great. Usually kind of difficult this part of the game. Now I'm just eager to get all of these buildings with the pauses on them uh, completed. We'll probably go for... The town Hall's really kind of the last priority. It'd be nice to have the nomads come in, but without having crops and whatnot, balancing that would be really difficult. So I think the, the chapel and the hospital are top priorities. And then the school, because now we're starting to build up our workforce enough to where having educated, uh, educated laborers will be very helpful. Let's see, who's living in these homes right now? Forester and Builder. That's it? Just one of each? Hmm. Hey, Wardo. We might just eventually build this path here, but there's no use for it right now. Yeah, as you can tell, this is a very difficult game if you like to have everything fit perfectly. And if you spend all your time trying to do that, you're just gonna hate the game. Everything's a different size, so... Alright, that is almost done now. Still doing okay on resources. Yeah, these will actually fill up very quickly. I'm glad I built that second one. We might even put another one behind it for more, like, iron and whatnot. Let's go! It's interesting that more foresters have not moved into these houses, but that just means that I'm going to have to uh, build some more. 
They're not coming from that far away, but far enough away that it's like, eh, we're gonna want more houses there. Done with that. Um, and then you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and unpause the chapel. Let's get that going. And that way I think the builders... Oh no. No, no, no. Keep working on the trading post. That should get... Yeah, at least one of them working on this to finish up production. And then any laborers and builders available will be bringing over resources while that's being finished. And it's, forestry is tough because it's not going to be effective immediately. As you can tell, they have to remove any resources in the area and then you have to wait. But that is okay. We are doing all right on resources at the moment. Kind of wish that you could be um, more... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, more intentional about where you could put these gates because that's just going to be right on the back side of the church but we will just pretend that there's an an, uh, an exit from the chapel to the graveyard there this is going to be a major boon for us we are out of stone i told you it goes so fast how much more do we need? 15. I'm not sure we have any more marked, so we are going to want to do that. This is why I need to get that uh, quarry going soon. Any stone over there. Some stone over here. Trading post is done. Heck yes. Um, all of that has been marked already. All of that has been marked. Uh, I don't want to build another bridge just yet, but we might have to. I think I am going to take this labor and go ahead and put them in the trading post. And here we can set our um, limits on everything. You want to be careful because if I was to put, you know, in order to get one seed, I need 625 firewood. That means that I would only actually have available about 200 for the villagers to use. You have to be careful when you're refilling things and when you're buying things to balance that properly. Because you can very easily screw yourself over. Um, so for the moment, we do have an abundance of iron, so I don't mind putting in, like, 25 tools here. Those are good for trading. Uh, and then also firewood. We are doing okay on right now, so I am going to go ahead and put in a full stock of it. Eventually I'd like to have enough to buy two sets of seeds at a time. Cattle are also expensive, so be wary. And then I don't think I really have any other things I can put in here so far. So that would be enough to get me a seed or something. And since there's one trader right now, he's not actually going to take it that quickly. So the balance I'm not super, super worried about at the moment. We just need about 10, 11 more stone here. Which we definitely have. It takes four workers. Hmm, do I want to just go ahead and build a bridge here? There's a lot of stone over here that they could gather pretty easily. Or I could build one here instead. Because this will be one of our very close future uh, areas of expansion. So let's go ahead and do that. This is going to require stone as well. But you have to spend money to make money. As they say. Okay, cool. We only need four more stone for that. We'll have plenty to build both of those things. And that will get us started. And nobody's using the herbs at the moment. I think they actually... I think there has to be an herbalist for them to use that. 
But right now they're actually fairly healthy, so I'm not not pressed. We're going to need a lot more stone, though, before we can build the hospital and whatnot. Okay, we've got three out of the... Oh, that should be enough. Get that chapel built. Come on. Yes, there we go. It's kind of fun to watch them build things sometimes. I love the look of these uh, floor tiles. They just walk around and, like, just hammer and saw random parts of the building. I always feel like I can truly tell when my city is starting to be established when I finally get the chapel up and running. Because it's one of those things where it's, like, as you can tell, just not super necessary, but makes the town look nice. It only takes one worker, so. And it can accommodate up to 200 citizens, which we are nowhere close to, so. Uh, okay, we have a spare laborer at the moment. We don't necessarily need another fisherman. I will probably use that laborer as a cleric. But actually, I think I might just leave this building for the moment and let them gather more stone for me. I want to get both of these buildings built as soon as possible. How's our bridge looking? We need 17 stone and a bunch more logs for that. We are set to go if a trader shows up, so... I'm really hoping that the first thing they give me is either cows or sheep. Nice. So they should finish that bridge. We have enough stone for it now. And then once they do, we'll mark all of this over here for gathering. Oh, we have a handful of laborers now. Okay, so we will put somebody in the chapel. Since it's only one person. And then I think... Once that one's done, I'll go ahead and build a second one, because we will need as much stone as we can get until we can build the quarry. I mean, we have enough iron to do so. You know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead and get the other bridge started. We want to draw that straight out from here, I think. It's going to be a small one, so it only takes six stone. That's not a big deal. We just desperately need a, a bigger store of stone here. Um, we have plenty of laborers and whatnot, but... Let's go ahead and yank up the priority for this. All this stone is right here. Like, just take it over there, you know? Alright, firewood is good. And we are... We don't need any more in here, so that should continue to build. I'm doing good on wood. I need stone, we need iron. Actually, really, instead of building another... Well, I was going to say, instead of building another forester down here, we could build them across the way, but... It almost makes sense to build like a hunter and gatherer and whatnot down in this area. 
Their homes could be like right over here. Oh, so close. I'm going to wait until that's built to mark any of this stone. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Ooh, we dropped down pretty low there at the end. But that's okay. We have the whole summer to, uh, to rebuild that store. Hey, there we go. Yeah, if I marked that now, I'm afraid they're going to come over here and walk all the way down here and have to walk all the way back. Just not super efficient. Oh, good. Thank you for your one, one unit of labor. I appreciate that. What are you doing? <laughs> so I said I didn't want them coming the long way, and yet... And now you have to go all the way back. See? This is why you don't go the long way. There are paths here for a reason. There you go, getting work done. I have some stone going. Once these bridges are done, we could start the hospital. We have three laborers now, though, so I want to just try and gather. Okay, now we can go ahead and mark this stone. Honestly, I think I'm just going to mark all of the stone in these areas here. And then also down here. I know that's a little ways away, but we have enough clothing now. I'm not worried about people freezing. So now we should have a decent store of stone coming in. Um, we will start this quarry soon. But I think at the moment I would rather get the hospital and school going. So we're just going to go ahead and mark those. We'll kind of work on all of it at the same time. Um, but with that said, we are going to go ahead and call this an episode. Thank you guys so much for joining yet again. We are firmly established here now. And we are going to start expanding quite rapidly once we get some of these main buildings built. Uh... So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining yet again, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.